Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys had a fantastic New Year's Eve, and a new year ladies and gentlemen, it's 2020, it's a new decade to start brand new adventures off on, ladies and gentlemen, the past 10 years, probably so much has happened in your life, probably, whether you were born, or maybe you were way older than that, maybe you've gone through all of high school, college, maybe you've been getting jobs who knows what you've been doing but you've done a lot in 10 years 10 years is a lot of time so in the past whole decade ladies and gentlemen those you know those teen years reflect on them you've probably done a lot of great as well as you know bad good and bad things probably have happened to you in the last 10 years but a lot of good may perhaps some bad you know we've all been there right with all our bad moments and whatnot but overall just look at how much you've accomplished Every single year, you, you did a lot, and we're about to hit 2020, where you're probably going to do a whole lot more, right? As well as the next 10 years, the whole 2020s, like, imagine you going through all of that 10 years, and what you accomplished, what you did, what, what that was all about, what all that transpired, and just look at the 2020s, that's whole 10 years that a lot of things are going to happen in your life. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you guys the best, of course, but today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go on a other adventure of our own here we're gonna go and do part 12 of the let's play series of pokemon sword and shield let us go i believe we have to head to hammerlock uh oh there's b day we don't want to talk to b day i don't know why i started speaking british okay but i guess we're gonna have to fight him i feel like i remember in the last episode he was quite depressed hello b day hello this is 2020, don't be depressed. Hop better not be depressed either. It's a new beginning. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge band taken away. Isn't that his challenge band right there on his arm? Isn't that what that gold watch thing is? And my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> of course. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I mean, you no longer have to worry about catching up with me because you're straight up just lost it all from being stupid, trying to break down a freaking ruin. Are you freaking crazy? You could have been arrested. You're lucky that all that happened was you just getting your challenge ban taken away. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Well, there you go. Don't give up yet. Oh, there's Opal. <laughs> Bad boy. Are you still do stroking his hair as always? Oh, he's they're both wearing pink. So sincere and straightforward, yet so twisted and misguided. Oh, wait, no, was she talking in the first sentence? <laughs> I didn't see. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. He looks older than you, Opal. Oh. Oh, she's gonna offer him a gym mission? Hmm. There you go, BD. Time for my gym mission, child. Oh, you know what? He's gonna become the fairy type gym leader. Because he's wearing pink and 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 he I think has carried around a couple fairy types. He's gonna be the next fairy type gym leader. Probably in like the sequel or something. I'm calling it now. BD's gonna be the gym leader, and there's gonna be like a second version of this game, and it's like Pokemon. I, I have no idea. Pokemon Battleship. I, I have no idea what it would be called. Pokemon Guillotine. I don't have no idea. But whatever it's gonna be called, you know, like the third installment, it's he's gonna be the gym leader of the fairy type gym. Calling it now. She's gonna choose him. Time for my gym mission, child. Huh? What? Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, the way she ran at him, and with that creepy body and face and everything, that is freaking scary! Oh my god, I'd be as fr even more frightened than him. That is, that is the most scariest thing I've seen in a video game for the longest time, the way she ran at him like a zombie. Oh my god. Pink! Oh my gosh, he's checking out his entire freaking coat there. That is, yeah, dude, BD, I would be more scared than 
than than ever, dude. Pink. And pink. Congratulations, child. Oh, is she making him the gym leader right now? Mrs. Opal? What in the world have gotten into you? You were used by Alunia, am I right? You worked so hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for you, child. You should head to Ch Ch Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route Chef. Sir Chester, is that north or east of here? So I'm guessing that she's going to make him the next gym leader. Dude, that was freaking creepy. That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in a video game for the longest time. Was Opal just charging at him right there. That was freaking startling. Hmm. 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 This place where we'll go. I'm talking like Yoda now. Hmm. I, I don't know why I started talking like that. Please forgive me. Sonya. Sonya's always here to block us. Hiya, the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins and stone side. And so wait, the sword and shield? What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries. Whoa. Kaboom. Holy crap. What happened? Did the castle blow up? Are you kidding me? What happened? Was... What was that? Is the castle blowing up? Am I like a stadium shook? That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Oh... Chairman Rose, what happened? Or was it the Alenia chick? What did she do? I'm guessing Chairman Rose is a good guy, but Alenia's like... She looks pretty suspicious. Pretty evil. All emo-like and stuff. Huh? A power spot? What's wrong? I'm getting readings from the power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible here? Hey, Sonia, in the Chornik 2, you felt that shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. What, really? Oh, just because of the wishing stars. <gasps> Dude, the whole castle is going to break apart because of all the big Pokemon. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll get- you'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going to. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the qu- wait, on the- on the- quit quacking? The quaking? On the quack- on the quacking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and give that gym badge- <laughs> Give it! Hop! Hello, Hop. Oh, the Chornik. I should have probably just give him a British, quick British accent. I haven't really given him a really unique voice, Mr. Hop. First, wait, first I forced, then my mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I've finally caught up to you again. Was that, go was that pretty good? Do you guys like that hot voice better than the, the one I usually give him? Because usually the one I usually give him is like, Come with me to the Ride 7. I could use a... Right, that's usually the voice I give him. But uh, I think I should speak a little more in a British accent. British. Because we are British. We are very British today. Hello, British man. The curry I made while camping was amazing. But the curry I made at home was so so so. I wonder what the difference was. <laughs> Look at this team. Look at this team. We're going places. Alright, the tonic. 
You and I both know we got. We have got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, just not just catch up. I I want to surprise him, or surpass him. So I well, think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try my latest in a battle against you. <laughs> you know, I think I like that voice better. I think I should have given Hop that Australian slash British voice since the beginning. He sent out a tre Trevenant. Yes, Trevenant. Wait, that Trevenant's really freaking small. I thought the thing was supposed to be bigger. Hey, grass versus grass. All right, in time for me to test exactly how far I've came with my latest scheme. I think that's what he said. The way you battle. You know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Oh, it's because I'm going to be the next champion? Yes. Snapped out of confusion. Use flame charge. Hell yeah, because my speed rose. It turned the tides. Until the on. That thing is disgusting. No, don't even show its face to me. Why? Ugh. This makes me so freaking sad. The wave is going to crash right over you. No. Don't do it. Snipe shot. You're just gonna point your finger at me? That's freaking disgusting. Dude, they really just. I don't know who designed these starter Pokemon, but. Never have them design them again, please. Uh, well, because we don't know what a Bolton is, I'm gonna use Hawkeye. Because we haven't. I've not seen Hawkeye in his newest form yet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's beautiful. Bolton. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. I did not know what a Bolton was, but now I know. Steel wing? No, wait. He's electric. Electric's good against steel. Yeah. That's why. Fail. Roar. Oh, it just switches out for me. Thank you. That was a bad move on your part, Hop. Huh? I'm the kind of guy that gets fired up to win these kind of situations. What? You will never win. He's Snorlax, though. Dang, he's improved a lot in off-screen land. Drawn beating. Get him. Oh, hell yeah. And his speed fell. So wait, speed? Speed also falls when you use drum beating. So drum beating is a pretty nice move. Hell yeah, we're going to be beatboxing. Boxing while we're killing him. Wait, what? Hyper potion? No! Stop it! Oh, don't to restore his power? So all that stock power. What? Avoided? Jeez. Do you see his entire freaking body just on top of my King Kong like that? This is rubbish. Wait, ah, oh god, now I'm doing freaking <laughs> Russian or something. Sometimes when I'm doing accents, like, I just mix them up so badly. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head on straight for the trainer. Gosh, I gotta work on this. Holy crap. Oh, he looks pretty happy, though. Before we ever started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star. This is so much better voice for him. So strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now I can tell just how strong he really is. And what he's got what he's got that I haven't. <laughs> this is more of an Australian accent, but you know, it fits him. But maybe I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle you again. And here, I'll heal up your Pokemon for you too. I think I know what it, what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to get another battle once I get... My gym badge and suggestion. And you will keep losing, my friend, dear hop. But finally, we could actually freaking touch Route 7. I wish I knew what each of these regions were. Like, what Pokemon would be in store so I could prepare. Pollen stuff? What the hell was that move? Bum, bum, bum. 
Boom. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so weird. There's a freaking electric. Ugh. You can't. You just can't sign the same yell. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's guff. What the hell does that mean? Our Marnie. She's our Marnie. Okay. I've only fought her once. I'm surprised. I fought BD and Hunt multiple times, but I only fought Marnie once. I guess I should fight this guy. <laughs> Do you see that naked? Freaking swiper no swiping over there. Do you see him coming like in and out of the grass? Being a taxi driver means I have got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same anytime, anywhere. Oh, well, look. Route 7 is already over. You can see Route 8 right there. That was the shortest route I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, let's use AC-130 real quick because I think he had a really good Rock-type move. No, wait, no, he's a Ground-type move. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, well. I'm a little dragonfly. I will breathe at you. Almost everyone's over 40. That's the goal. Jawlock? That sounds horrible. But this, that sounds like one that would be specific to him. 80. Oh. The move prevents the user and the target from switching out. Holy crap, dude, that's a token tomorrow. Also, this whole area looks like a huge mass of ruins, and by the way, this is Route 8. This, look, this place looks cool. When Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down too. True. Right now, I wish all my Pokemon were healthy. And walk a pit. That is the ugliest bird. Oh no. Dude, what is that Pokemon? Oh, that's the one I keep seeing memes on Twitter about. They're like, um... What's those things? The, the, they look like, uh, like little Kirby's. You know what I mean? They look like little, little Meta Knights. I want that Pokemon, dude. I kind of want it. It looks so cool. We might have to add that to our team if I could get down there. That, cause it's, it's like, it's like, kind of like Dugdria where it's like multiple Pokemon in one. That's, and that's just so cool to me. They're like a bunch of little minions or... Bunch of little like um Waddle Dees, you know what I mean? I want that. I want that. That's our next capture. I want it. No, not you. Bulldor. I remember you from uh what was it? Is it Sun and Moon? No, that was Black and White. They have a lot of black and white Pokemon in this game. I mean black and white did add like a whole hundred fifty new Pokemon. Wait a minute, I just realized there was an, an emblem on the top of this. There's a freaking moon down here. No! No, not the bell! It is time for this bell to go away because I'm trying to capture another Pokemon. <gasps> Ponyard! 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 Hello, Ponyard! Hello! You gonna be my friend? Yes, we are. We're gonna be best friends. Ponya, dude, Bisharp's one of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite. The favorite. Ah, oh, but it's... It's female. I kind of want a man, Ponya. Okay, well, I'll still capture it. Um, yes, we're gonna name it... Ebony, because it's female. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or not. Or keep her. Send it to a box. I just want a male one. No. <gasps> Another one. Please be male. Male, 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 male. Please be male. Nah! Male. Please be male. That would be awesome if you were a male. You know what I mean? 
No one's with all these females. Dude, I cannot find a male Bisharp these days. Oh, there he is. Hi. I want him. I want the Kirby's. Wait, what was his name? Falkins? What was his name? Falinx. Falinx? Uh, what type is he? I have no idea what typing is. Dude, it's so, it's so cute! I like it! They're like a bunch of little warriors. A bunch of little Kirby's. I don't want to kill it, so I'm gonna just rapid spin. How much is that gonna do? First impression? Wait, so is he bug type? First impression, because I think I think first impression was Golosopod's move. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Please, Mel. I know you have magnificent legs. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ow. Reversal. Wait, is he a fighting type? I have no idea. Endure. Dude, I like this Pokemon. Look how they all come out like that. They all get knocked back like that. They're like a ram. Like a stampede. Don't, they look like a battering ram. Maybe that's what I should nickname them. Or maybe I should just name them Kirby. Because what they look like is little Kirby or Waddle, Waddle Dees. I'm going to call them... I'm just going to call them Kirby. Wait, he doesn't have a gender. It's definitely a Kirby. We're capturing it, and we're gonna name it Kirby. Wait, the love I love this Pokemon. A Pokemon that works best when catching a Pokemon that you're in love with? Oh wait, no. That is the opposite gender of your Pokemon. Well, hmm. What's the best looking Pokemon? I guess I just use, I'll just use Ultra Ball. I like the look, I like the look of the Ultra Ball. Yo, yeah, give me you. I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna keep you. Please be captured. Make this easy? Hell yeah. Phalanx was caught. I think... I think he was fighting type. Or but maybe he's a fighting bug? That would kind of make sense, I guess. Or he's fighting type. Okay, because that first impression made me think he was... Bug type, because Glossopod has that move. The six, the six of them work together as one Pokemon. Team... Dude, so literally, if you have this on your team... It's like you have 12 Pokemon. The six of them work together as one Pokemon teamwork is also their battle strategy and they constantly change their formation as they fight. Awesome, dude. All oh, the strategies I can see the anime using in this. Would you like to give a Lynx a nickname? Yes, I'm just gonna name him Kirby, I think. Or Meta Knight, should I name him Meta Knight? Because I did see this Pokemon already like online. Like in all those memes and stuff of him dancing to songs. I'm like, I want that. Uh, who, who are we going to get rid of, guys? I guess it's going to be Dreadnought. I'm sorry, Dreadnought. This is the time that you must go. Oh, wait. There's a Ponyard over there. Please be male. Male, 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 male. So we got a new Pokemon in this episode. Maybe we'll get two. <gasps> Mel! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Back in, back in the day, we found a male Ponya. Finally, after searching for so long, the Tronic finally found a male. He kept finding females all over in the grassy area. But when he found a male, he was so happy. And he prayed that Mel would not die while trying to capture this male. Ba -dum, ba -bum -bum. I should have used the Love Ball. Just because it's my favorite Pokemon. And it's the opposite sex of Mallow. I should have used the Love Ball. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Ponyard. I wish you could change the look of the Pokeball after you capture a certain Pokemon. Game Freak, take notes. Oh, I'm going na There's a bunch of names I could give him, to be honest. But I want to call him Knives. Because that's what his name was in my Sun and Moon game as well. So, knives. Add to your potty. Oh no, we gotta get rid of two Pokemon. 
Dude, I think we might have to say goodbye to King Kong already. I feel like I can't do that to him. Uh, I guess AC-130? We just can't do that to King Kong. Uh, we'll have Flygon later. Whatever. I mean, I never, I never planned for Flygon to be in my full team. They're like little soldiers. Look at them. I like them. I just want to capture like a bunch of them. Dude, look at them. They're like little warriors. Little Waddle Dees, little, po little Kirby's. Dude, that's definitely my favorite Pokemon so far of this area. So we got two new captures. We now have Parnia, which hopefully will evolve to Bisharp within this episode. Because I don't like Ponyar, but I love Bisharp. <laughs> I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Ooh. Alright, so we got Kirby and Mallow out there. Dude, Kirby, his first moment, his first battle with us. Sand Tomb. Hang on, Kirby. Oh, hell yeah, Kirby, Kirby endures everything. Kirby's like six Pokemon. How If one faints, they still got the rest of the five. I wonder if that's going to be something that they're going to put in the anime, where one, one faints. And does, if, if one of them faints, does does that count as all of them fainting? Because how could they all be one Pokemon? Why would you classify them as all one Pokemon? You know what I mean? If they're all separate body. Look, they're, they're all separate. Like, Doug Drio might be, like, three Pokemon in one. Or Magnemite. But they're all attached, right? This Pokemon isn't attached. I guess Execute isn't attached. Eh, oh well. Oh hell yeah, they're strong and cute. Kirby especially cute. So is Mallow. Mallow is freaking beautiful. I saw this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. <laughs> pocket change? You just gave me $6,000. Sereno just wants to camp with us out here. But no, we're going to go towards Route 9, I believe. Or is this Sir Chester? Incredible. Incredible. Sneasels and everything. No! Whoa, dude, that Sneasel was fast as hell. Oh, there's Sir Chester. We're already here in Sir Chester. Oh, this is a nice city. Very Christmassy. We just finished with Christmas, didn't we, guys? There's a bunch of fat guys in here. Oh, there is a skinny girl. The lady at the counter store is a Pokemon in boxes, too. She works so hard. Really? Thank you so much, World War II Nurse Joy. World War II Nurse Joy continues to amaze us. Wait, no, I want to go back inside because I want to buy more potions. Wait, I need to get curry toppings at Bob's Your Uncle. Bob's Your Uncle is the place to get your curry toppings. Why? Why would why would Bob be my uncle? Which is funny because I do have a Uncle Bob. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, how do they know this though? How do they already know that Bob is my uncle? They've been stalking me. I've been stalking the children. You're welcome to stay at either building, at either building of Hotel Iona. Oh. Ah. I can't go in those areas though. Why are they blocked off? Is that for the VIP section? Oh, dude, you could just walk into random people's hotel rooms without, like, freaking, uh, getting in trouble. So that means the culprit must be among us. Yo. <laughs> He's like, wait, who are you? Dude, I'd react, react the same way, like, what are you doing in my freaking hotel room? After all the trouble of deducing things, don't go messing it up now. I think the culprit is the little kid. It's always the little kid. We're accused of being criminals. Will you help us out? I just want to be like go soon. Where did my Pokemon go off to? I suppose I should introduce myself. My name's Houses. Jose. Yes, that Jose. Or Houses. The great detective. I've been hired by the hotel. At present, I have concerned the culprit of corner the culprit of the most heinous crime. 
Oh, eating all these berries is probably his Pokemon. It's all, all right, we already know it's the Pokemon. Pikachu. 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 Right, which one of you little bastard Pikachus have stolen the berries? Will he say Pikachu too? I'll become the champion using an all Pikachu team. Ah, uh, I wish he would say Pikachu. Pikachu! Well, I don't think this Pokemon's here. Maybe he's in the other hotel. You got a Satan Varsity jacket? Freaking Satan? You guys freaking worship Satan here? I, I know it's a Satan, just roll with me. Um, freaking shoes. Oh, oh yeah. Those are way better looking. We're freaking Russian now, boys. We're gonna be Russian up in this joint. We're gonna be wearing some Russian hats. Some trapper hats. We're gonna go fishing. Maybe the Pokemon went to this hotel. Hmm. There's another police officer here. What is he doing? Hello oh, there. What's this? Do you need something from me? Right. Why don't you run along now? But come back when you're as strong as a champion. Would you? What? Look, he has a Dynamax band. It's Mr. Ball Guy. Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star. And that also means I've got a Pokeball just for you. A uh, wishing star Pokeball? A moon ball? What the hell was a moon ball? A moon ball is a Pokeball that will make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. That's very, very freaking specific. Like, how much more specific can you get? Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve just by using a moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? We're already taking on the ice gym. We're probably gonna lose. What am I doing? Well, if I know I'm gonna lose this mission, or the, what the hell? That's not a tribe detector. That I look so concerned. <laughs> look at my character's face. Would you like to hear the details? Well, yeah. Look how freaking concerned I am. <laughs> I'm like, why the hell am I carrying these? <laughs> am I gonna get booby trapped? Then allow me to explain what's in your hands. The reason you'll need is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reach. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Then on with you, and good luck. Okay, okay, I'll move this way. Alright, going this way is a good idea. Dude, ice gyms always have, like, so... What the hell? What? They always have, like, the most difficult freaking missions, dude. You know, screw this mission, dudes. I hate this mission. Good lord. This mission was too tough, dude. I freaking hate ice gyms, dude. I freaking hate them. Hate them, Sam. I am. I hate them here and there. I hate them everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I decided to, to skip through that gym mission because it took me a good 20 to 30 minutes just going like this to this to this to this to this and everything just messing up and me struggling for 20 to 30 minutes. So I decided just to skip through the rest of it. I freaking hate ice gyms, dude. They're the worst, dude. Their missions, their trials are freaking terrible. Like, I hate all of them. But ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go in with this team for the sixth gym leader. Like, doggone, we're already the sixth gym leader on part 12. But this will be the finale for this episode. Freaking ice gym. I feel like we're gonna end up losing though because I didn't barely any training. But I'm gonna go in with a brand new Pokemon we just captured in this episode. That being Kirby as well as Ponyard, which is a Knives. I kind of want to see, though, Dynamax Kirby. What's that going to look like? Is all six of them going to be freaking gigantic? Dude, how are they even going to fit in the stadium with a bunch of giant Kirbys? Well, let's find out.
I can't believe I'm not wearing, like, uh, you know, coat or anything. It's probably freezing here. They must have took a lot of money to build all these stadiums. See, look at her. She's all in our get-up. All comfortable and cozy in that coat. Melanie. I'm Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of ice-type Pokemon. You, you aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to skate when I freeze you solid. After that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Whoa. Oh, it's like an ice skating rink almost. Look at the floor. Melanie. She could be on a big shot. Looks like she's married though. Look, see, she has like a ring in her ring finger. You were challenged by gym leader Melanie. I keep saying Melody. Melanie. Frostmorph. I guess that's a new Pokemon. Let's go, Kirby. Should we Dynamax Kirby? I just want to see what would happen. She has four Pokemon. Uh, I kind of just want to see what would happen. You know what I mean? We could always max revive. Let's let's be let's be smart about this and Dynamax him later. So I don't know what, what what does no retreat do? This move raises all the user's stats but prevents the user from switching out or fleeing. Hmm. I guess we could use that. Let's use no retreat. Kirby's gonna be stuck in here though. Attack rows, defense rows, spectral attack rows, special defense rows, speed rows. No retreat. I'm guessing that's a a move specific for Kirby. Hail. Oh god. But maybe this will give us a chance. Am I I'm guessing that I could only use no retreat once, because. There's no negative effects to it after the first time. Oh, she's gonna kill me. Bug Buzz. Oh, nope. I'm still very much alive. Reversal, Kirby. Let's get your first gym. Yes, nice. First gym leader battle win in for Kirby. I didn't even have to uh, Dynamax him for him to be good. What was, what is that? Not very effective though. Dude, our fire typing is making a lot of things that would be good against rock. Like, completely just negated. It's end mode. Is he fire type now? Oh, he looks like he's fire type. That's kind of, he's a snowman. <laughs> he's a snowman now. Well, Smackdown then. If, he, if he's, um, fire type. Smack down. Nice. Good job, Iron Eye. Iron Eye gets a win in. What? What? Oh, I, oh, I saw this. What? What kind of Pokemon is that? It's just a penguin with an ice cube on its head. That's the stupidest thing ever. Out of all the Pokemon that they added to this game, that is one of like, the stupidest looking ones I've ever seen. Yeah, let's just make an ice Pokemon, you know, and just make it an ice cube on top of a penguin, a normal penguin body. That makes lots of sense, that looks like a great Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, let's just put it in there. That is not a Pokemon. Hail. Dude, she's not doing anything to me. I was actually worried that she would do a lot of damage to my team and that she would be a tough opponent, but I'm kind of destroying her right now. Who knows? I said that about freaking... Wait, what? Ice face. Oh. You transformed. Is it like a... Oh, so I broke his ice cube. So is this his actual form? Fantastic. 
swagger. No, I do not want to learn swagger, so I'll keep open moves. What's our ace Pokemon? Lapras? Hmm. Lapras. Come now, go on. Gigamax. Oh, she's Gigamaxing. I forget all the gym leaders Gigamax. They don't Dynamax. Jeez. Is that supposed to be musical notes? Is that why her name was Melody? Or Melanie? Because her Lapras looks like it has like musical notes going around it. Dang, freaking King Kong's gonna take him out immediately. So nice you into a sub zero world? Why, what is what's she gonna use? Resonance? Oh jeez. What the hell? Against physical and special moves. Dang. Okay. That would be a really powerful attack, except for the fact that King Kong took out half her health, which he's probably gonna use a uh a, a hyper potion, you would guess. Alright, let's see this. Let's see this Dynamax Kirby. Or for Lynx is its real name. Dynamax. Is Bug good against ice? Max Flutterby. Let's just use Max Knuckle. Yeah, let's use Max Knuckle. Oh, heal ye. Let's see this. Oh, look, all of them. Oh, dude, that looks like an army of army of little minions. You can't even see the, beh the behind them. They take up the entire freaking side of the stadium. It's super effective. Kirby's attack rose. Oh hell yeah! That means we should just use it again. Ooh. That looked like a deathly attack. Alright, come on, Kirby. You're the star of the show. Max Knuckle again. Take out that Lapras. Your attack rose. Dude. Oh yeah. <gasps> Goodbye, Lapras. You no match for the Kirby squad. Dude, I love this new Pokemon, dude. Kirby's freaking awesome. All these little Kirby, Kirby's wild bees. They OP. They're like a whole little army. My own little minions. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. I just want to climb into a hole. Hell yeah, get into that hole. You can't show your face after your humiliating defeat. Well, I guess it would be more like falling from here, right? Dang, guys, we got six gym badges now. Oh, hell yeah, dudes. We almost have the entire thing completed. Only two more to go. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 50. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a th right thrashing, would you? Hmm. Wait, her son? Who's her son? Is that another gym leader? Here's a uniform for you too. It's the same as what Melanie wears, so it's a quite popular replica. Dude, wait, so I get to have a coat? <gasps> I wanna see what it looks like. Dice badge looks great on you. Keep at it. But I thought we could wear different, you know, uniforms in these gym challenges, but I'm guessing that the only one you can wear is like that one right there. Is the only one you could wear during the gym challenge, but you can wear the uniform replicas like out there just normally like this, like my alpha right now. Look, have a look around Sir Chester and see what it has to offer. Oh, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. We were just about to end it here. That battle was brilliant. The gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. 
you taking me out? Taking me out to dinner? I got some things I want to talk to you about. Oh, she is taking me out to dinner. So let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your victory. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Bob is my uncle, actually. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we'll start off the next adventure with a date with Sonya in Bob's Your Uncle restaurant. But ladies and gentlemen, that was a fantastic episode. Captured two new Pokemon, put them on our team. Eventually, we're going to have the most glorious and awesome team. It's almost complete. We've also completed six gym badges, ladies and gentlemen. We only have two more to go, which means I'm guessing the majority of the game is over. But it has been an awesome journey so far, and we're starting off 2020 with this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue on our amazing journey through this next decade. I wish you guys all the best of luck in all of your endeavors the next 10 years. Who knows what that's going to hold? I mean, a lot of things have happened in the last 10 of years of your life, right? I mean, just imagine all the events that will transpire, not in just 2020, but the entire rest of the 2020s, a whole decade. Just imagine what's going to happen. Who knows? You could, like get married and have kids or who knows what right you could have entire different things happen to you every single year it's crazy how time flies ladies and gentlemen but i wish you guys the best in all of it and i'm thankful that you guys are here spending some of your time with me but anyway ladies and gentlemen i love your faces can't wait to see you guys in the next one and peace off thank you very much